Item number, SCP-619. Object class, safe impetus. Special containment procedures. SCP-619 is currently housed in storage locker 15A2 at Site-21. Currency retrieved from SCP-619 is to be kept in storage locker 15A3. Testing on SCP-619 has been suspended. SCP-619's right pocket has been stapled shut. Should testing on SCP-619 be reinstated, access archived document 619-T for testing procedures. Description SCP-619 is a pair of faded Levi brand stonewashed jeans, manufactured in 1994, with several stains and tears through apparent use. The item shows no unusual physical properties. However, it does not correspond to any style of jeans produced by Levi Strauss and Co. Whenever a person puts their hand into SCP-619's right pocket, the pocket will contain two US $1 bills and between two and five US dimes. Turning the pocket inside out or removing it from SCP-619 negates its anomalous properties. Damage to SCP-619 may be repaired with conventional materials without altering its anomalous properties. All pieces of currency retrieved this way have been marked as being printed or minted between the years 1969 and 2018 and show varying amounts of wear and tear. For bills printed before the present day, serial numbers have been matched with those of bills that should have been circulated. Due to the frequency with which currency is lost or ignored, the source of currency retrieved from SCP-619 is unknown. In approximately 4% of all trials in which currency is removed from SCP-619, an activated die pack will be tied to one of the bills with twine. The explosion, which produces temperatures in excess of 400 degrees Celsius and releases dispersed red 9 dye, may burn the subject and has caused damage to SCP-619 on several occasions. In an additional 6% of all trials, a lit match will be present. The manufacture of both the dye packs and matches varies. After the first two weeks of testing of SCP-619, in which 407 trials were run, 53% of all retrieved bills had the words stop, please, why, or no could be either no or on, written across their surface. Analysis has shown the words to be written in optically variable ink. The size and handwriting of the letters is suggestive of very limited expertise. On Trial 588, a single $20 bill was retrieved. In contrast to previous bills on which writing was found, the writing on this bill was small and legible and spanned multiple sentences. It is reprinted here in its entirety. We surrender. You've taken the whole village, and now people from other cracks and other couches are pulled out. Whole families. If it's revenge for the die packs and matches, you have to understand that we don't have other ways of stopping you. We don't like hurting you, but we're scared, and it's all we have. We gave them to as many as we could in case you tried to have us spent. Just tell us what you want and we'll give it to you. Do you want humans? We can get you three whole heads. We could even pull together all the fingers and toes left over, or open up the graves if you want. Non-sequential unrelated DNA, no questions. Just send a $20 bill and talk to our other $20 bill and we can make it work. I don't know if you care at all, but all we want is for you to s Another eight trials revealed the absence of any further writing. Special containment procedures have been revised. Testing on SCP-619 is suspended. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-618, Spider on the Wall, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.